Hello and welcome to this quick video in which I'm gonna show you how you start in my Skyblock Beyond data pack. First off, you need the resources inside the Skyblock Beyond textures. Just include the file, hit done, and then we need the world. It's called Skyblock Beyond Test. When you're inside Minecraft, if you see the folder, it's called Skyblock Beyond 1.16 and a release number, so this may change with upcoming releases. So let's jump right in. And it's not that difficult, but of course I, I'm saying that I made the pack myself, so this might not be an objective opinion. Uh, yeah, as we can see here, nothing is around us, just the tree underneath. Let's start punching it, as we always do in Minecraft. This triggers the first advancement in the Skyblock Beyond Advancement tab. We can also check the installed data packs. There we can see Skyblock Beyond was successfully installed. The next step is to create a custom crafting table. For this, we craft ourselves a crafting table and recraft it to get the Sky Crafter. This triggers a few other advancements. So we got ourselves some paper to, uh, which allows us to craft the knowledge desk. Next off, we need another oak log for some sticks, which then is used to craft a wooden crook. This allows us to harvest the leaves with a guaranteed uh, outcome, uh, which guarantees us to get some saplings and even gives us the chance to get some silkworms. But the chance is relatively low, so you might have to de- uh, destroy a few more leaves uh, to get one. Mm, but as we can see, we got some bone blocks and this will allow us to grow the saplings we just got very quickly again. After that, we need some more oak blocks, which we can then craft into oak wood. Let's see how many logs we get. Okay, four in total. This isn't quite enough, so we grow another tree. And with the logs we get from this one, we can create ourselves a knowledge desk. So let's get ourselves a crafting table. And that we can get oak wood and then the knowledge desk. So now we get ourselves the knowledge desk. After this point you're pretty much set on what to do because you can just look inside the knowledge desk and check uh, how the recipe goes or whatever. I even included some explanatory lore to a few items. So when we see, uh, when we have a look here, destroy leaves to get more drops and silkworms. Or uh, a few of the basic workstations have some uh, have gotten some lore needed for tools not made of flint. So for stone tools and better. Yeah, you can read it all yourself. This is the point where I end the video, because with the knowledge desk you should be able to figure everything else pretty much out yourself. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.